Yo, what's up guys, the Boxing Legends back with another video today. In this video guys, we're going to be learning how you could use the Get Children function in Roblox Studio. So what is the Get Children function? So basically, you could use this function if you're trying to like, get all the parts in the model to do something in what you script. So I'm going to be showing how to do it today and I'm going to show how you could do it, pretty much. So let's get into it. So let's start off with like, an, building an example. So how about we make like a staircase? Like we could make something like this. three four step four steps is good enough so how about we make it like this and now let's group the entire thing now we got our staircase let's name rename the model to staircase just like this let's add a script to service script service and this is when the scripting all takes in place all right let's start okay let's start scripting now what we're gonna do first is we're gonna we're gonna declare two variables one to declare like the entire um, staircase and the next one is basically to declare like each step basically we're going to use the get children for each step so we're going to type first we're going to type local stairs equal to workspace dot staircase so we're targeting this our next variable is going to be local how about we call it step all right so the second variable we could say something like local steps equals to and this one we use to get children function so we could say stairs and then we could say colon get children just like this and it's gonna return an array containing of all the instance children which is basically everything inside the model so now we got a two variables set up and now what we could type is we're gonna type for underscore step in i pairs and then parentheses steps then let's put one arrow right then type do and then this is where we got so far so you guys might be questioning what this represents so basically over here is the underscore and the step this is basically saying each step okay because we got four steps and it's gonna go through each step so basically what i want to do right now is i want to change the color of each step to the same color every second that's what i'm planning to do and then I pair step, it basically gets everything over here. So in step, basically, we're going to be declaring each value that this brings it back with. So that's what the step is, and that's what the I pair is. Now let's move on further. And now what we're going to say after do is we're going to change the color of each um, brick. So basically, this is a variable, you guys could say. We could say that this is basically a variable. Oh, and by the way, put a comma after over here. And now this works. That's another common misconception that people get when they script. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type step. This is basically kind of our variable and like it's an array. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to like bring it back kind of. So we're going to type step dot break color equals to break color. Then how about we make the color like red if that's the thing. But it is. And now after that, let's type task dot wait and then we could put it put it as like one second and then that and then now let's try playing and see what we get so we're gonna play now actually let's do run in fact and now every second as you see it turns red and the reason why our staircase fell is because we did not anchor it which is another common mistake and pretty much guys that is how you use Get Children in Roblox Studio. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.